guitars, do you use any effects? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what floor effects? Um, Stone boxes or? Yeah, both, both and rack mounted. Um, I'm going through something called a G Lab mm -hmm. from Poland, um, Polish company. I guess. Well, that's the uh, you know, that's the board turn you know so it's, it's got the, the the pedals going through the loops you know to single them all out um, and the effects. Oh, well, actually, the guitar is going through a uh, radial JD7 injector from there into a Sanzam Sanzam. Uh, coming out of there, going into a TC G major two um, TC electronics. Mm -hmm. That's for amp one and two, anyways, and that then is hitting pedals, anyways. Through that, there's a delay, boss, DD7, I think it's a bit of reverb, um, electro harmonic, they have clon, wah pedal, that's on amp one and two, and then the other ones are coming out of the radio. It's a, you know, it's kind of an amp selector, not really. Um, coming out of it's a splitter is what, I'm, what it is, you know, and then the line two is coming down and that's going to a Marshall and that's getting a hot cake um, from uh, New Zealand, that's where they make those. Um, and then line three is coming down and going through another G major and a, um, a distortion vintage effect. Um, He's made a couple of pedals down the road for a few other bands. And so, what, what do you use the Sansam for? The Sansam? Yeah. Well, um, that's just digital distortion, or, you know, distortion, you know. Um, and because I've got the five different guitars, the only and the the way they react. To, to the amps and and the tunings was really fucking different, so it, bec it became pretty uh, necessary to at least get them closer to get get things closer together. Using one distortion wasn't going to work over all the guitars that easily, so it's kind of an EQ in the distortion that control it a bit better. Um, that way, I can cross between the tunings and the different guitars and have different pickups, different strings and mm -hmm. get them a little closer together. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you've got three amps on stage? Four. Four? Oh yeah. yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> well, they're all going at the same time. What I call the main ones anyways, amp one and two, are kind of hard left and right, you know. It's just, I'm standing between them if you're looking at me. The one's on this side, two's on that side. But, um, yeah, I so said they're 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 getting the Sans amp um, and the T the G major two and the kind of the main delays you know it's getting digital delays and a tap tempo I got a head rush a Kai head rush um, that's also a looper if you know what I mean then the Marshall is the one just directly behind me that's just getting one distortion pedal it's more for it's kind of you know I tend to like things real wet and delayed you know and that leaves very little room for out front to have much control. So it comes in real handy to get kind of a center to it all. And then I usually have a, a pro reverb, um, but that fell off the back of the truck yesterday. Okay. And uh, shattered. Oh, <laughs> so now I'm using a twin right now. Okay. So the twin is the fourth M? The twin is the fourth one. Okay. That one's up in the air above the, the Marshall. And it's going to up at an angle, and it just gets reverb and distortion mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. So, so you have two, two Fender Bandmasters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the Marshall, mm -hmm. and then the, the Twin, mm -hmm. yeah. just for spare right now. So well, the, yeah. So <laughs> the, main, the main amp. Yeah, the main one that used to be there was the yeah. Pro Reverb. So that's a very interesting setup. How did you come along with that? To produce the sound you need? Mm. How long have you, how long did it take you to, to find out what suits you best? Well, it started with just two. Um, right off the bat, it was two. You know, one kind of dry, delayed one, one full on wet, wet reverb. I was using a Juno and I put um, matchbooks in the key, in the keys to hold down a kind of a drone note, if that makes sense. Um, you know, just a chord. And then I have a volume pedal for that. And so that way, it's, it's 
and I can bring it in for choruses and things like that. So that's going on too in this setup, it's a little different. Third amp was there, and then I decided it was like, well, seeing as I have a third amp, let's see if I can tie the guitar into that. Anyways, started doing that, and then we started touring um, more so, and started getting into bigger places. It became pretty obvious that uh, how I wanted it to sound on stage, I needed to deal with um, the realities of what front of house has to deal with, which is a big open room that isn't always friendly to delays and reverbs mm -hmm. and things like that. So that's when the Marshall came along. Okay. And Moore's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, like, cool, I'll take another one. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what kind of Marshall is that? Is it an old one? Or? Yeah, JCM 800. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah for, <laughs> Great choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you use that with a 4x12 cabinet? Mm -hmm. So and, and the fenders are all combos, or is the bandmasters just? They're also but they're twelves? two twelves, yeah. Okay. Easy. So yeah. Okay. And yeah, they're, they're a separate head for each one. It's easy, yeah. No, it's not easy. <laughs> it's very special. It's very very specific. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, a little bit. That's very. That's very. It's interesting. kind of a nightmare too. <laughs> <laughs> for, for for your guitar tech. <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> for everyone. Okay. Okay. I'll, I think. If, if there aren't any accessories, like an Ebo or so, that you uh, use? Nothing? Not usually. On records, you know, things like that. Okay. But not too much like. Mm -hmm. No time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I think we're through then. So okay. I'll cool. just go down and take some pictures if that's okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. Off yeah. the gear and... Go away. It's all, it's all, right now it's all kind of hidden in a rack, you know, it's all... Um, well, they're in, they're, it's in three boxes. That's for, fly, for flying it, mm -hmm. you know, if we run into a fly gig. We got to keep it underway, so it's split up and it's pretty messy. Mm -hmm. um, but I can open it up if you need to get in there and take pictures. But it's, that would it's, be great. It's, it's messy, mm -hmm. but it's yeah, it is what it is. Okay, cool. Thank you. For the All right then. Yeah. Thanks a lot.